Hi guys, welcome to another new video from Bioorganic Hub. So in this video, we will discuss a question from CSI Amulet, which is about favorite skill arrangement. So uh, we will discuss the questions, try to solve the um, answer, and uh, try to figure out what is the option can we figure out that can be the most uh, important uh, uh, topic for the CSI Net. So just let's continue. What is the question? The question was like this. So here you have uh, cyclohexanone type, not cyclohexanone because you have uh, six carbon atom here also. So you have something like a cyclic uh, chain and which you have a carbonyl compound, two beer atom. So the reagent was AMEO minus Na plus. What was the product? That was the question. So you can, uh, you know, this is actually important reagent, AMEO minus Na plus. So methyl, methoxide minus. So this is a nucleophile and Na plus is just a counter ion. Uh, that's no uh, role to the mechanism, but MeO minus is a good nucleophile. So what happens? This is actually a name reaction called Febosky rearrangement. So to answer this, we first have to understand what is Febosky rearrangement and what is the mechanism how to figure out the uh, main product from a reactant, and then we will try to answer these questions. Just keep it aside. Now. For Febosky rearrangement, you, your reactant is actually this. If you figure out a main, meta, a main reactions, this is like this. Let's say OET minus or MEO minus. If you have this type of compound, uh, you will end up with a product like this. OME. So like this, uh, the main thing is that if you have a nucleophile here, that nucleophile will be attached. If you have a nucleophile here, uh, according to that nucleophile, your product will be uh, one member, uh, the cyclic compound with one carbon less and substitution will be like C double O nucleophile from this type of compound. So X is here a good living group and this X will be leave out and the new nucleophile will be attached to this carbonyl carbon in the product. That is the main uh, fundamental uh, concept you have to remember for the total, total reactions to understand. Now we will go towards the mechanism. So for mechanism, first step is you can understand. You can understand the mechanism, the nucleophile. So nucleophile have some basic property. So if nucleophile have some basic property, obviously this hydrogen is acidic, you know, because this is a, a hydrogen which is just uh, beside a carbonyl carbon. So obviously this hydrogen has some acidic property. So this hydrogen will be extracted by the nucleophile. So the first step will be extraction of the nucle uh, hydrogen, this acidic hydrogen, and this will create a negative charge here. So this negative charge will attack you can understand here a good living group. So this nucleophile will surely attack to that uh, living group and this living group will be go out. So first step is proton abstraction. And what is the formation? The intermediate is the epoxide formation. So that is called epoxide, you know. So the main intermediate we will get like this. This one. So X is X minus X is leave out, leave out uh, as a X minus. So this is the epoxide intermediate will be formed. Now you have a nucleophile and you have a carbonyl carbon and also this three member ring carbon ring compound will not be stable. Itself three member ring is not stable and it is again the again fused with a six member ring. Obviously then it will be not at all stable. So nucleophile will attack this. Uh, this ring, uh, this carbon atom, because the carbonyl carbon, this carbon is the electron deficient, uh, this is the del plus we know, so the nucleophile will take attack here and this three member ring will try to break out and form some new uh, ring compound, that is the second step of the reactions, that is the nucleophile will actually attack here, this is go like this and come back 
and this will break out attacking here okay the carbonyl carbon carbonyl carbon so now the next thing is that so the mechanism we can understand there are two steps first is the proton extraction and epoxide formation and the second step is the nucleophilic attack uh, and the breaking of the three member epoxide ring now one thing uh, one thing i have to we have to remember that the first step is the uh, proton extraction and obviously when proton will be extracted there will be something like this what is called actually enolization what is the quite similar of enolization actually xenolization proton will be extracted this will be uh, come here and this will go out so this is enolization and this will come back this will go like this and this will go out and after that this will form so first step is enolization and after that the epoxide will be formed and the second step is nucleophilic attack now one thing that whether what will be the case if uh, you don't have the situation where you you have don't have access for the analyzation like uh, if you have a carbonyl carbon or if you have a carbonyl group or some uh, ring compound let's say strained uh, ring uh, the carbonyl situation on the, uh, situated on the strain then Inhalation is not possible because double bond on the bridge carbon will not be stable. So whether that case Rorosky rearrangement first step will not happen. Okay, so it is not the case actually. In that case also, analyzation happen. Uh, analyzation does not happen, but Rorosky rearrangement will happen. So how it will happen? Okay, so one thing we understand. One thing we can understand that the case is like this. You have O minus. you have x living group so what is uh, after enolization this is the after enolization product intermediate and this is coming again here and this is going here and x is going out of the x minus living group now this can also happen with a tetrahedral intermediate this is the sp2 that is a uh, enolized intermediate but this can also happen as a tetrahedral intermediate why i am saying like this because we have the evidence of that one what happens for pinacol pinacol rearrangement Let's say you have the for pinacol pinacolon, you have this compound now as a reactant. Let's say this as a pH pH and this is CH three. Okay, so if you have the reactant of the pinacol pinacolon rearrangement of this, this OH will be uh, so the carbocation we know for pinacol pinacolon carbocation will be formed at that position which is the most stable. So this is the OH two plus. This will go out and form a carbocation here. This will form a carbocation here. Now the next step, try to follow very carefully. What happens? This OH, you have a lone pair. This O minus come here, and this CH3 is go there. So this type of migration is happening for uh, the sp3 carbon atom. This carbon atom is sp3. This is exactly the same thing happening for here. So if you have a uh, sp3 type of things here, then also. can happen the first step of the fevorski arrangement that is actually happen for the next example we are showing let's say you have a compound like this where two cyclohexane ring are actually in fusion okay This is a very nice example, and this example has came in CSIR sixteen. Okay, so this was the compound. Here is your O. Here is your living group, and here is your hydrogen. So this was the compound for CSIR sixteen questions. this concept the concept what i i was telling that was applicable for that question that you have this type of compound where you have two six member ring infusion another is the one six member ring is one plane and another is the above plane so this is like this one plane another is this plane but fusion in this fusion of two six member ring happening in this place so what happened for this case what, uh, what happened for the fevorski product of this but obviously you have to understand that the 
reagent will not be same for these two conditions because in this case you have the reagent so they uh, give uh, they have given the reagent for csir 16 questions that i am copying actually tertiary butanol okay tertiary butanol hydroxide so agno3 you have to think how can be agno3 useful for these reactions yeah, AgNO3 actually play the crucial role for the step one. So what happened? Now, uh, if you understand that, okay, okay, the first step is that for the question of the for this question, first step is that this is a very hard question that AgNO3 you cannot catch the idea that this will go throughout the favor screen arrangement. But if you catch the favor screen arrangement, will happen. But next, uh, tra next trap they have created that you will uh, see. Okay, favor screen arrangement will happen. So this H, uh, this have H acidic hydrogen beside the carbonyl this will get the minus and this will attack here epoxide formation and the next step but you have to understand epoxide formation does by what mechanism analyzation is the first step but whether analyzation will happen here analyzation in this case will happen never happen because this is a quite a bridge type of position this will not happen for another this bond this bond will never create a enol type of bond here so analyzation in this case will not happen. That's why AgNO3 actually is useful. What will happen for AgNO3? Just check. I'll just check a look. This will form this type of compound. Okay. Okay. Now what happened? This double bonded O in presence of aqua solutions H2O will form this type of compound. Okay. Okay. Now you have a vinylic OH, the two OH at the same carbon atom. Now you have the skeleton to happen Febuskiri arrangement, where we are telling the story that the second step, that the epoxide formation, the intermediate formation will happen. So epoxide formation at the happens for what? To leave out the living group. So we have said that epoxide formation may not also happen, but the leaving group can leave out. That is happening for this case. That you have this lone pair. Okay, you have this lone pair. It can come here. This bond, this bond is quite parallel. So why I'm saying parallel bond will migrate? I'm just uh, uh, coming to that point. This will migrate here, and this will go out. So if I erase this reagent, what will be the product? You have this, okay. Now you have this. What is the above the plane? These bonds. So I'm just uh, giving the solid for the above the plane presentations. Solid line for above the plane presentation. Okay. Now. This carbon atom will be directly attached to this carbon atom. This carbon atom will be directly attached to this carbon atom. So what will happen? Now for six member ring will be formed, uh, converted to five member ring. But both are in fusion. There is one, two, three, four, five. This and other ring also in fusion, but both will form five member ring. So that will be the product here. Okay, now you have this bond has been migrated here this one look very carefully this is very important example this bond has been migrated here and this bond remain as it is but it has changed its position here is it so this bond has been converted to c double bonded h once more this bond has been migrated here and this has remained as it is we have written just that one okay and here it is hydrogen okay now to match with the options what they given for the CSIR questions you have to uh, figure it out uh, what is the stereochemistry of that question now to figure it out the stereochemistry we have very simple rule this is a very simple to figure out the stereochemistry look first write it down as a simple form so now we have two 
five member ring in fusion. Now I have to give the stereochemistry of this C double H and this hydrogen which are in this positions. This position C double H and this position OH. Now sorry, hydrogen. Now look at very carefully that this bond and this bond are in same plane and this bond are in above the plane and this bond maybe we don't know we will figure it out so we will apply a very simple logic that we know for fissure projection two uh, con two concomitant conversions means uh, i'm saying a two exchange two simultaneous exchange exchange is acceptable means that will not uh, change your r or s configurations of that chiral center so what is i'm saying you have hydrogen you have a you have b you have c let's say you have the r configuration of this chiral center if we exchange like this this will go here this will go here and this will go here two mutual exchange sorry this will not happen Two mutual exchange. This will, this will go there. This will go there. So what will happen? This will go A. This will go B. This will go C. We know this and the previous one represent exactly same stereochemistry of the chiral center. That we will apply here actually. So you have the C double H group. We don't know, but this carbon atom is above the plane. We try to rotate. We try to uh, take a two mutual exchange. This carbon, this CWH bonded carbon bond, CC bond, will exchange to the above plane. This will be exchange concomitant. This will be exchange to the this plane plane bond. This is in plane, so this will be exchange to the in plane, and this is already in plane. So what will happen? This is also required. Why? Because two five member ring, you have to in plane, and this CWH will be above the plane. So that gives us the product with a very easy way to figure out the stereochemistry is this one. So this was the product. So these reactions, the main thing is that if you don't have the possibility for analyzations, you also can do Fabosky rearrangement. That was the main logic behind the question of CSI and next 16. Now, we will go out with an example and then we will try to figure out these questions. Now, another important example, what normally happens, uh, very important for the gate and CSI and net perspective, or also at the jam perspective, that you have this type of. CH3, you have this compound, now you have Br2, Et2O, this was the first reagent and the second reagent is OME minus. What will be the product? That was the question. So what will happen? For first case Br2, Et2O, you can understand bromination will happen to a double bond. So what will happen? This will be a compound. This is bromine. This is bromine, isn't? This is CH3 and this is CH3. Now this is double bond, and you have CH3. Okay. Now, what happens? This hydrogen is acidic, so uh, OME minus is uh, act as a base. So this will create a negative charge here, and this will attack here. This will go out. So what will happen? In this case, this is a normal uh, example of the normal reaction. There is no, the, in this case, you have the possibility for analyzation. So this is not a special case. But this is a methyl group as like that, and you have a bromine, and you have two methyl group. Now you have OME minus. It will attack here, and then uh, this bond will migrate here. This will migrate here. This end up with a product. Okay. 
So that is the product for this compound. So that is a quite easy question, but that is based on this uh, concept what we just uh, learned for a uh, learned uh, just learned that are Fabos arrangement. And uh, now we just quickly go towards our target questions. What we started from where we started. So this was just Fabos-Kill arrangement on this one. So we have one hydrogen, two hydrogen in two position. So that will form a negative charge and that will also form a analyzation because you have this in this question you have the chance of analyzation so that will be confirmed that it will go throughout the normal mechanism of the Fabos-Kill arrangement so that will form this compound okay now this also will attack here this is going through a normal step but nothing special in it normal Fabos-Kill rearrangement this is going okay now you have O you have Br okay now what happened uh, now the next step is actually quite tricky for the normal mechanism what happened you don't for the normal step like this you had only one living group but this case you have two living group that is a just a specialty for this question nothing spe more special as like the previous example where you have don't access of uh, uh, analyzation so in this case what will happen OAB minus will attack here it will go here and it will leave out and Okay, so this was 6, we just missed out. So this will form this type of compound. 6, okay. C double bonded OME. C double bonded OME. So this was our answer, but uh, they posted the options, it's quite a tricky. Uh, the 6, they have changed to 5 and made a 6 member ring. This is nothing special. Just you can write it down like this. This is a 5 and this is... C double of N. So that was the answer. Okay. So that's all for Fabosky rearrangement. We will have another video for Fabosky which is called quasi-Fabosky quasi rearrangement where, where you have a alkyl group or you have a CC bond that will migrate and leave out a living group. That is more interesting and that we will try to figure out in the next video. Just follow my video and try to grasp the concept.